the president of Local 1253, Brian Watson. Mr. Premier, I sat in the lockdown before the budget and I read in there that you were going to increase education by 3%. Now, two weeks later, you're telling us that you're taking 9.9% out of the budgets of the province of New Brunswick for education. Shame! 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 Liar! Let's put that into perspective, everybody. That's fewer buses for inner city children. That means they're going to have to walk longer distance in minus 20 and minus 30 degree weather. I challenge anybody in that building that sits over there and behind us to walk every day in minus 20 and minus 30 degree weather on streets that are not plowed because of the cutbacks in the cities. They better take their slippers off. <laughs> in our rural areas, 45 schools are being targeted in the province of New Brunswick right now. They added a new clause in their, in their 409 policy. That means if there's 100 children or less in that school, or 30% less usage, they're going to close those buildings without consultations. Shame! Shame! It means less cleaning in the schools. That's where germs are gonna propagate. Children are going to get very sick in those buildings because they're not clean property. I've had two personal friends whose their children have, have been attacked by the enterovirus just in the past two months and were both rushed to the IWK because it attacks, attacks the respiratory system of children. If that's allowed to populate in our school buildings, what's gonna happen to those children? Shame. Premier, Shame. I say stop playing with the children of New Brunswick, the seniors of New Brunswick, the people of New Brunswick are the stakeholders who should be in that building right now. Thank you. Thank you, Brian.